somebody. Let's move to the next level. Everybody please stand. Yeah, well, I'm showing y'all the power of God, baby. So you can obtain in God. You go forward in God. Well, probably why I'm not like that. Because you've been in a standstill for so long. You got to keep moving. I didn't sit back and wait on nobody to pep me up. Baby, I used my own faith to pep me up. Don't you know that? I didn't wait for folk to come in my house. I already had somebody in my house. No, you shoot, I'm talking about a lot of things, baby. Huh? I stood up against it like a man. Yeah. All right. And I tackled that thing All right. like a man. Yeah. God love it. Yeah. God love a strong man. Yeah. This is why when I made that statement, how the Holy Ghost hit me, if God bear witness to a man, it's right, baby. Yeah. All right, go and drop a telecast. Hey Amen. We're going to slow it down for just a little and we'll rise it back up as we get into the message. We're going to slow it down because I got to do the tele I do the announcement. Hey Amen. We're going to rise it back up. But I do tell y'all, pay attention to this message. Yes, who I'm talking about? Uh, because, see, you got to take care of you. Yeah, that's it. It's all in how you make of you. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Baby, I done made me. I'm made. The, the devil hell no I'm made. Been serving God since 79. How long is that? Do your math. You see what I'm talking about? All right, go on and talk with telecast. All right. God bless you, I am Prophet Willie Townsend of the Pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue Jane in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible class start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup, for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lines are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me, send me your testimony, send me your prayer request letter, write me Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. If you want today's lesson by DVD, VHS, or cassette, or CD, get the tape number or the tape message that's appearing on your screen. Call the church. Give us the tape number or the message, and we'll rush the tape out to you as soon as possible. We do encourage you to check our website. All of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes, you can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, our telecast every Sunday, you can get that live also by going to our website every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. Also, don't forget our weekly telecast up in Detroit, Michigan, on TV station WPXD TV channel 31 every Friday at 7 a.m. Detroit time. All right, now into the Word of God. Amen. We're going to talk to you this morning. Uh huh. Amen. Prophet, I want you to preach to me. Well, that same thing is talking to you. You see what I'm talking about? Hey man, the spirit speak, the spirit of God speak through the man. All right, Isaiah 35 and 3. Isaiah 35 and 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands. And
and confirm the feeble or the weak knees. Strengthen ye the weak hands, yes, and confirm or strengthen the weak knees. Our lesson this morning will be on weakness in man. Weakness in man. I don't think nobody in the body of Christ ought to be weak. No. Was Christ weak? Was Paul weak? The word of God that you read, the word of God that you are hearing, amen, ought not to make you weak. You, you know why you're weak? You're not accepting the word. You see what I'm talking about? All right, now here's the question here, baby. Now who is the Bible talking to him? The Bible is talking to the weak. Amen. Telling the weak to strip them themselves. And if you are weak, you does not want to be spiritual weak. You does not want to be a spiritual weak person. Why? Because if you are weak, you got inner man spiritual problems. You see what I'm talking about? Let me tell you what weakness is, baby, so you can get out of it. Weakness is a sign of defeat. Weakness is a sign of defeat from demons. It's a sign of defeat from the cares of this world. It's a sign of defeat from the state of the man. You see what I'm talking about? Weakness is a sign of a low self-esteem. This is why many people have a low self-esteem of themselves because they are weak spiritually. You see what I'm talking about? Weakness is a sign that something in life have beaten you down. You allowed it to beat you down. You didn't have to allow nothing in life to beat you down. Uh, you see what I'm talking about? You shouldn't allow your marriage to beat you down. Hey, if the man want to walk, let him walk. You see what I'm talking about? If the man don't want you, go on in God. That's all, baby. Don't let the marriage beat you down. You see what I'm talking about. You don't let marriage or anything in life beat you down. God is calling us to be strong. God is calling us to be strong in our mind. You see what I'm talking about? God get the glory over a strong person. Because a strong person, a strong person identifies Christ in him. Christ is strength. Christ is power. All power is given unto me. That's what Jesus said. And if we represent Christ, we ought to represent strength. If we represent Christ, we ought to represent power. Power don't get beat down, baby. Power conquers. Do you see what I'm talking about? God is calling us to be strong in our spirit. There's a lot of things in life that we would go through, but God wants you to hold yourself up to it. You see what I'm talking about? God wants you to be strong to it, baby. Here's the problem, baby. We've been reading the Bible day in and day out, but we ain't put none of that in our heart. And when the time of testing comes, it shows we ain't put nothing of what we have studied in our heart. If 
you got the word of God in your heart, you can't get beat down. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. God is calling us to be strong in our spirit to where nothing affects our spirit. To where nothing bothers our spirit, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? But in order to be strong, number one, you got to get under a strong ministry. You see what I'm talking about? Your leader have to be strong. Not none of this whippy stuff. Not none of this weak stuff, baby. There's the problem, baby. The reason why many people are weak because the pastor is weak. His messages is weak. His teaching is weak. You not under no man. Some of them. I don't want to tell you what you're under. You see what I'm talking about? And look, if you under a ministry that's afraid to preach the truth, you under a weak ministry. If you under a ministry where that pastor is not shown the example in holy living, where he not shown the example in faith, you under a weak ministry, baby. And that's why you are weak. agreeing with the people singing if he agreeing with the mess that they are in you under a weak ministry this is why you are weak do you see what I'm talking about number two here in order to be strong you got to hang around strong people you see what I'm talking about Amen. You got to pull away from these folk, baby, that don't have no faith. You got to pull away from these folks, baby, that's beat down. You got to walk with the wise that you will become wise. You see that? You don't hang around folk always talking about their problem. You hang around folk that's conquering their problem. You see what I'm talking about? You don't hang around folk that's talk about their problems all the time. Hang around folk that's conquering their problems. Weak peoples cannot do nothing for you. Weak peoples cannot even help themselves. Do you see what I'm talking about? Let me tell you what you need to do, baby. You need to build yourself up. Amen. You does not want to be weak. i tell you why. Because when you are weak, anything can affect you. You easy to cry. Anything will make you cry. Anything will make you upset. You're too beat down, baby. Don't nothing make me cry. You see what I'm talking about? They man, if you give them the truth, they crying. If you rebuke them, they crying. It's not well, well, they spoke to me the wrong way. It's not the idea of they spoke to you the wrong way. You done got beat down somewhere. And anything is able to make you cry, anything is able to upset you. You see what I'm talking about? Let me explain something to you, honey, when you are strong. Baby, you could take you could take words. When you are strong, you could take rebuke without crying, baby. When you are weak, anything can disencourage you. Prophet, amen. They, they amen. They really disencouraging me. Let me explain something to you, honey. Amen. Jesus Christ said, right there in the temple and preached to the Pharisees. Amen. And turned right around and set Jesus up. What Jesus disencouraged? Paul, old countrymen, folk that he used to hang around with in the world. 
amen, turned around and tried to kill him and then turned around and put him in jail. Did he get disencouraged? At midnight, it said he prayed and sung him. That's because the man was strong, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Hey, man, when you are weak, anything, amen, can affect you. Weakness is not a life to live. You see what I'm talking about? Amen, because when you are weak, your feelings is in the way, your mind is in the way, amen, all that's in the way, baby. You see what I'm talking about? See, when I got strong in God, I pulled, I pulled that back. I pulled my feelings back. That's why I don't give a hell what they think about me. I'm going to preach holiness, baby. I'm going to live holy. I got strength, baby. When you got strength, hey man, you can ignore people. When you got strength, baby, amen, uh, you can protect your feelings, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Let me explain something to you, honey. When you are strong, you feel good about yourself. People that's weak don't feel good about themselves. You see what I'm talking about? You, uh, amen. When you weak, you don't feel good about yourself. That's why your pants not up the sta- up the uh, up the standard. You see what I'm talking about? You don't care about wearing makeup. You don't care about fixing your hair. You see what I'm talking about? I don't care what some of the religious folks say. Baby, put your makeup on. your pins up baby so that weed in your hair look presentable that's what I'm talking about rise above how people feel about you rise above how they think rise above what they say and fix your pins up baby your earrings on let them jingle baby you see what I'm talking about prophet it's a sin it's not no sin Jesus told you what sin was he said not what goes in a man that's a sin what comes out of a man tell the religious folk jealousy is a sin Tell the religion folks self righteousness is a sin. What comes up out of a man? Hate. Not, not, what, not what's on the body. You see what I'm talking about? You could not wear earrings. You could not wear makeup. Amen. And be full of jealousy. Be full of hate. It might be a homosexual on the inside. You see what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. You know air rings don't defile a man. Do you see what I'm talking about? The Bible said God beautified the meek with salvation. You see what I'm talking about? He didn't say nothing about no lipstick. Bobby Jezebel wore that war paint. Amen. See where Jezebel put the war paint at? Who was Jezebel worshiping? She was worshiping Baal, baby. We not worshiping Baal. We worshiping Christ. The Holy. The Bible said worship God in spirit, not with your body, how you look, with spirit and also in truth. For the Father seeking such to worship him. I don't use my body to, but yet I got to look presentable, baby. I got to look, I got to dress like God provides for his people. I got to dress like I got the Holy Ghost. 
A lot of these folk get up there and jump and shout, speak and talk. When you see them out there in the restaurant, they look just as plain. That's not no lifestyle you live in. The lifestyle you live in, the lifestyle is living holy in love, righteousness, faith. My, if you're going to hell from wearing earrings, no, you may go to hell from judging. You see what I'm talking about? Because the Bible's a woman, I sure have man's own preaching. <laughs> if I was a woman, you see what I'm talking about? But see, so many people is moved by words, baby. They move by words because they are weak. You see what I'm talking about? When you are strong, words that people say about you does not affect you. When you are strong, you live above words, baby. You can take words, baby. You can laugh at words. You can ignore words. When you are strong, Problems in life does not affect you. You see what I'm talking about? We all gonna have problems in life, but it's how you deal with your problem. You see what I'm talking about? Let me explain something to you, honey. I didn't have problems in life, but do you? But did you see the problem beat me down? Hold it, baby. My problems in life made me wiser. My problems in life made me stronger, baby. My problems in life added to my faith, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You see what I'm talking about? My problems in life, baby, amen, didn't beat me down. My problems in life didn't give me a low self-esteem, baby. I'm a high self-esteem man. I got ready to say young man till I remember my age. But that's all right too, baby. When you in the spirit, you think you young. You feel like you young, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? When you are strong, you have a strong mind. Yes. Amen. What people say about you cannot affect your man. What demons speak in your man cannot affect your man, baby. When you got a strong man, it's easy to pull down them strongholds that the devil trying to put up in your mind, baby. <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? It's a problem, baby. You got so many people's man are weak. That's why anything you say or do to them, it bothers them. You see what I'm talking about? Hey, Amen. What you need to do is toughen yourself up. You see what I'm talking about? Hey, Amen. You need to strengthen yourself, baby. Amen. You need to toughen yourself up. Amen. Then everything, if things not going right, you're crying. If you go to the doctor, you're coming back crying. If people rebuke you, you crying. Baby, the bottom line, you're too weak for society. You're too weak for society, baby. You're too weak for people's, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? You need to toughen yourself up, baby. The Bible said, quit yourself and act like a man. That's what the word says. Weakness is a sign of defeat unto God. Weakness is a sign of unbelief. Weakness is a sign of rejecting the word of God. Didn't you know that? Do you see what I'm talking about? What you need to do is to strengthen yourself. When you are strong, you can stand up against your husband. 
You can stand up against your wife when you are strong. You can stand up against people. Hold it, baby. I don't run from sinners. I don't run from the religion folk that want to, well, amen, that want to argue over the word. I don't do that. I'm going to stand up against them devil. I'm giving the word of God that's going to be it. You see what I'm talking about? And when it's all over, baby, they're going to find out who's the strong man, me or them. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? You got so many folks, they weak to their spouse. The, 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 the husband make them cry. I don't want no wife. I wouldn't want no wife like that. Amen. I supposed to marry a woman, not a girl. I supposed to marry a woman, not a child. A child cry. You tell a child they can't go outside, they break out and cry. Not a 30, 40 year old woman. You see what I'm talking about? Here's the problem, baby. The woman you marry is too weak. And when, when you weak, people take advantage over you. But when people see you strong, they're not going to take no advantage over you. They're going to respect you, baby. Hold it, baby. Don't you know people respect strength? Don't you know people respect wisdom? Don't you know people respect authority? Do you see what I'm talking about? When you are strong, you can stand up against demons. You see what I'm talking about? I don't care what the demon attack you with, what they say, baby, you can stand up against them demons because the Bible said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, baby. I let the devil know I'm the tough guy. I let the devil know I'm the man that Christ saved. I let the devil know I'm the man that Christ gave the Holy Ghost to. I let the devil know, baby, that I'm the man that Christ made the head, not the tail, above, not beneath. I'm the man that Christ said, behold, I give you power over all the power of the enemy. That's what I'm talking about. I like to exercise my strength to the devil, baby. You got so many folks saying they say, amen, but don't exercise no authority, don't exercise no power, don't exercise no faith, but yet they want to shout in the church. You need to be taught, baby. All right, God bless them. I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 105, Oh, one, South Avenue, James, in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. And our Wednesday and Friday night Bible class start at 8 o'clock p.m. And if you need free pickup for any of our church services, we have free pickup services, give us a call now. And we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lines are now open. Amen. We, if you need prayer, give us a call. And we got live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me. Send me your testimony. Send me your prayer request letter. Write me, Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. We do encourage you to check our website. All of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes, you can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, our telecast every Sunday morning at 2 o'clock p.m. You can get that live also by going to our telecast every Sunday at 2 p.m. 
Also, as a reminder, I will telecast every Friday at 7 a.m., that's Detroit time, on TV station WPXD TV, channel 31, every Friday at 7 a.m. in Detroit, Michigan. Until tomorrow morning, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless you. Amen. That's why I feel good about myself. I'm strong. I know I'm strong. It's not what I say. It's what my inner man have proven to me. It's what it's what my inner man have showed me. That's what you go by. That's where I go by. Not what I say. It what what I see. Look, I know what came up against me in life. If I see him, it's a strong man here, baby. This is why God gave me a strong wife. I, look, I couldn't deal with no woman crying all the time. I couldn't deal with no woman. Amen. That's complaining all the time. I couldn't deal with no woman that have a low self-esteem of herself. You see what I'm talking about? Look, God put man and woman together. The Bible said that God made woman from Adam, called her woman, not no girl, not no child. And he made the woman from the man. Yeah. So if the man's strong, the woman ought to be strong. She came from my ribs. Couldn't have no weak wife. My wife told me at home, prophet, woman have to be strong to deal with you. I know it. You see what I'm talking about? They looking at your fame, your clothing, your money, your flashiness of clothes and, 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 and your anointing and, and they, all that look good. But they, they don't know that they're going to have to be strong to deal with you. They got to be a woman, baby. Because, see, I'm firm with a lot of things. You got to be firm and you got to be strong to take what I say. Because if not, baby, you will crumble, you will crumble up. I don't want nothing to go crumb it up, baby. No. Because, look, baby, you won't even... I, 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 look, if you crumbled up, if, if, if I marry a weak woman, she crumbled up, it'd be like, I don't, I don't even have a wife. It ain't nothing she could do for me. No. A weak woman can't do, can't do nothing for me. No. Yes, you what I'm talking about. Amen. I, and I say nothing, nothing. She will kill everything. Wow. You're right. Go ahead, teacher. I don't allow folks in my house crying. No. Sniffing, unless you got a cold. Complaining. No. Looking sad. No. See, I got a life. And the one that God gave me, she's supposed to have a life. That's what I'm saying, baby. Not everything breaks us down, make us cry. Hey, Amen. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. You've been beat down. That's all, baby. You're not trying to build yourself back up. You got to do that in a hurry. Good, right now, I know you're wrong. You see what I'm talking about? If I correct you, you're supposed to take that without you breaking down. Because if I was a man in the world, I'd take the advantage over you. Yeah, because you show weakness, baby. That is so true. If I was a, look, them men's in the world, that's how they get these prostitutes out there in the street. They get them kind that they got beat down. They got a... And they make money off of them we can. Go ahead, teacher. You see what I'm talking about? 
a strong woman man, man gotta study how to get next to her yeah, yeah. I can't get next to you baby I can't get next to you baby <laughs> can't get next to you because you plan to look the woman is strong she wise and a strong woman gonna play hard to get but a weak woman open up and talk to anybody be with anybody you're right I ran up on a lot of even in the world strong woman all strong woman a strong woman makes a man angry you see what I'm talking about but a strong woman is the way you carry yourself. Do you see what I'm talking about? A strong man knows a strong woman. And a strong man knows a weak woman. You ain't got to be saved to know that. When I was in the world, I took advantage over weakness. Yes, see what I'm talking about? I'm not going through that. I'm not going to tell you the whole story. No. But I played on it. No. And um, a man, and uh, I took the advantage. Yeah, yeah. Yes, see what I'm talking about? When I first met him, I knew they was weak. Mm -hmm. That's why men talk with a woman to conversation, to pick up a spirit. Yes, see what I'm talking about? Look, when a man asks you about your last relationship, well, uh, well, 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 you don't tell no man about your relationship, your past relationship, because if you could say something in there, and it would, he would pick up, you as a weak woman. He's not going to tell he's going to play on it. If a man asks you about your past relationship, let him know, forget about that, I'm just dating you now, or I'm married to you now. You see what I'm talking about? Don't give no information, baby. You don't give no man your spiritual lifestyle social security number. You see what I'm talking about? Because a man would play on it. And I say a man because most women ain't going to do that. Most going to be men to do it. I know it. Women's is looking for love. Men looking for a get over. Right. You see what I'm talking about? You don't find many women trying to get over on men's or, or find weakness in men. Some of them do, yes. But not the, no, not the majority. You ain't been around long. You see what I'm talking about? Hey, man, you was a mama girl. Or, 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 or mama's boy. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. I mean, you got some of them that do, but the majority women that men play on is weak. You don't see you don't see women's out there pimping men's, do you? Not at all. Case closed. Case closed, baby. Wipe your mouth now. You don't see women's out there pimping men's out there in the street, do you? But what do you see most of the time? Talk to me. All right, I'm going to part two. Do you see what I'm talking about? Hey, Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what happened here, you can see the weakness falls under the strongest one. But if both of you all is strong, nobody falls. We stand toe to toe. Do you see what I'm talking about? But just because a man is strong, it don't mean a woman have to be weak. You got a lot of strong women out there. You got a lot of strong women out there refuse to take their mess. You got a lot of strong women out there will stand toe to toe, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. But if you weak, amen, you'll fall subject. And when you fall subject, you easy to cry, emotional, break down. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Look, 
It's still out there. Amen. It's still in the church. You see what I'm talking about? Now, I know what I'm talking about. I have been there. I have experienced it in the world and also out of sword in Christianity. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. I have been around men out there in the street that I have seen in the world. And how that the woman breaks down in weakness and falls subject under this man. He called her all kind of names. All she do is cry. What you say? Y'all saw a lot of them TV programs that come on TV. A lot of them, a lot of them singing stars. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That, that. Well, I know you're talking about prophet. You see what I'm talking about? Nothing but a sign of weakness, baby. That's why the man took the advantage. But when the woman got strong and, and, and fought back, he cried, he cried like a girl. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? All right, God bless everybody. All right, we're going to part two. See, let me say this before we stand for the second part of this telecast. See, people go around and they hurt my feelings. They talked about me. They didn't talk to me right. See, stop complaining about people and get yourself strong over people. That's a lot of folk that have talked to me wrong. I just ignore them. You see what I'm talking about? Not that I'm going to fold up and cry. Not that I'm going to get disencouraged. Because, baby, if you don't like me, I'm still saved. If you don't like me, I'm still upbeat, baby. That's, that's okay. If you don't like me, I don't have to pay out not one dollar. If you don't like me, if I got $50 in my pocket, after you get through hating me, I still got my 50 Go ahead, still got your clothes. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. All right, God bless everybody. All right, everybody, please stand. It's right, prophet. Right. Amen. You can sit down whenever you get ready. Once you stand, you can sit down after we um, go in part two uh, of this telecast. Okay. All right. God bless you. I am Prophet Willie Townsend, uh, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue, James, in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m., and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible class start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lines are now open. Uh, we have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me, send me your testimony, send me your prayer request letter, write me Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. 
If you want today's lesson by DVD, VHS or cassette or CD, get the tape number or the tape message that's appearing on your screen. Call the church. Give us the tape number or the message and we'll rush the tape out to you as soon as possible. We do encourage you to check our website. All of our Wednesday and Friday night's Bible classes, you can get them live uh, uh, by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, our telecast every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. You can get that live also by going to our website. Also, let us not to forget our weekly telecast every Friday at 7 a.m. Uh, Detroit time in Detroit, Michigan on TV station WPXD TV channel 31. All right, now we're to our lesson on this morning. Uh, we're going into a part two. Amen. In the book of Isaiah, the 35th chapter and the third verse. There's Isaiah 35 and 3. Amen. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Our lesson this morning will be on weakness in man, part two. Amen. This is what calls folks to run from the truth. Weakness. Yeah. A strong man can face holy teaching. A strong man can face another strong man. Right. Here's the problem, baby. People fall under strong people because they are weak. You see what I'm talking about? But when you are strong, you can stand up against anybody. When you are strong, you can stand up against life problems. You can stand up against persecution. You know why? Because you tough on the inside. You see what I'm talking about? Never mind how a person look on the outside. Amen. See how they are on the inside. A person can have big muscles. A person can stand seven feet one, but be weak as hell on the inside. A person can look just as handsome. A person can look just as educated, but weak on the inside. Do you see what I'm talking about? Let me explain something to you, honey. I made myself strong with the word of God. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. I refuse to be a weak man. Weakness take away your life. Don't you know that? Weakness take away where you can't enjoy life. Many people cannot enjoy life because they're too weak. Baby, I made myself weak. I mean, I made myself strong with the word of God. My faith in the word of God made me strong. I refuse to be a weak man. You know why? Because weakness is a failure. It's a failure to God. It's a failure to Satan. And if you fall under the hands of Satan, baby, he's going to take the dominion over you, baby. He's going to take the advantage over you, baby. Uh, right. Long as Samson was strong, the Philistine respected him. Long as Samson was strong, they was afraid. Of Samson. But when Samson became weak, when he when they cut his hair off, and he became weak, look how they took the advantage over him. Put his eyes out, made sport of him, laughed at him, mocked him, humiliated him. When you are weak. People take the advantage over you. Don't you know that? When you are weak, demons take the advantage over you. They laugh at you. 
They make sport of you. Do you see what I'm talking about? Weakness is a Christian's enemy. Probably why is weakness is a Christian's enemy? Because a weakness is a sign you're not accepting the word. And it could be a sign you're not saved. You see what I'm talking about? Weakness is a Christian enemy. You see what I'm talking about? When you are strong, you going to fight, baby. You going to fight to overcome. You going to fight to keep from being beat down. You got too many people that saying they are saved. But be down. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Peoples have allowed their marriages to beat them down. My Lord. Hey man, you know you are too weak to get married anyway. A weak woman have no business getting married, not right now, until she's stripping herself. Because she don't know the type of man she gotta come up against. A weak man ought not to get married because he don't know what type of woman he may have to come up against. She might be one of these kind of women that he may have to come up against, baby. She might be one of these kind of women. You see what I'm talking about? If you weak, baby, you shouldn't be getting married because you don't know if you're strong enough a man to take these man ways. You don't know if you're strong enough to take his attitude, his complaint, his folk finder, his name call it. His, his ways. Yeah. You don't know if you're strong enough to take his whole monger and spit. Prophet, my husband never cheated. Babe, but looking at every woman that passed by, didn't you see that missus? If, 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 if that man looked at every woman that passed by, that man cheating on you right in front of your face. Because the Bible said if a man look at a woman and lust in his heart, he done come in adultery already. That's what the word says. Do you see what I'm talking about? You got some men's baby, they are cheating on their wives right in front of their face. In other words, you are being disrespected by your husband right in front of your face. What is a man looking at her for? For what? I walked past, he didn't stare at me, did he? <laughs> if you gonna look at them, what I'm a man look at me then. There you go. Not just the women, brother. You see what I'm talking about? I mean, look, you got to be, look, this is why you have to be strong because you don't know what you got to go through in your marriage. You got to be strong because whatever in this man starts to come out after you get married and you don't know if you're strong enough to deal with all of that. You don't know if you're strong enough to deal with this name calling. You don't know if you're strong enough to deal with this attitude. You don't know if you're strong enough to deal with this alcohol. You don't know if you're strong enough to deal with this gambling. You don't know if you're strong enough to deal with this girl watching spit. You laid it all on the table. You're right about it, though. Yes, you are. This is why I hear that people allow their marriages to beat them down. Not only that, but people allow sickness to beat them down. 
People's allowed their man to beat them down. This is why you got a lot of men and women that's not married, but yet beat down in the spirit. The marriage didn't do it, their man did it. Demons in their man beat them down. This is why nothing comes in my mind but what I've been taught, what I studied, and which is the word of God. Do you see what I'm talking about? People's allowed life troubles and their finance problems to beat them down. And this is why they got beat down because they was too weak to fight. If you weak spiritually, you're not going to fight because you're too weak to fight. In order to fight back, you got to be strong to fight back, baby. You see what I'm talking about? If you strong, you tell the devil, I'm not going to take this mess in my mind. I know what I've been taught. I know what the word of God said. If you're a strong woman, baby, you'll tell that man, I saw what you did. Right. But let me tell you one thing, one more bad move, you divorced. Right. I don't need no mess like that, baby. No, don't go somewhere and cry. Right. Don't call the pastor, tell the pastor what he did. Why not get you a lawyer and tell the judge what he did? Right. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Tell the man, I saw what you did. I saw you, I saw your eyes went, uh, following that woman when she went past. I, what? I can't look at folk. Well, why don't you look at Pastor Times when he walked past? Why you didn't look at him? Why you didn't turn your head and follow your head to him when he. You gotta take it easy. You see what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. Listen, baby, if you're not strong, your marriage will beat you down. What you marry that you fell in love with will end up beating you down. If you're not strong, spirits will beat you down. Spirits in your mind will beat you down. Do you see what I'm talking about? This is why so many people, it's so easy to cry, so easy to give up, so easy to get so emotional because they got beaten down in life. Yeah. Strong men don't cry. Y'all yeah. heard the record uh, back in the 60s, big girls don't cry? Yeah. Why not be that big girl? Be that big man, baby. Means don't cry. No, they don't. Let me tell you what you need to do, baby. You need to strengthen yourself in the word of God and get built back up. Once you get built up, you can go through trials in life without getting broken down or beaten down. Do you see what I'm talking about? We been saved enough we've been accepting the word long enough to where we should be strong enough to go through life without falling apart or giving up you see what i'm talking about we should be strong enough to take orders from the pastime of the word of god without complaining you see what i'm talking about we should be strong enough to take orders without getting angry. Here's who I'm talking about. You should be strong in that, baby. Hey, man, they didn't talk to me right. They had an attitude. Whether they had an attitude or not, you should have been strong enough, baby, not to complain. You should have been strong enough not to break down, baby. Whether they cuss you out, whether they didn't talk to you right, so what? The strength lies within you, not them, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 
There's a lot of folk don't talk to me right. Baby, you think I'm going to cry? You think I'm going to break down? Not this tough guy. You see what I'm talking about? Here's the problem, baby. The problem is we are too weak. What we need to do here is to build ourselves back up to be strong where we could take words. Where we could deal with people, where we could take correction, the where we could take orders without getting angry, without crying, without breaking down, without getting disencouraged. Where prophet they didn't speak to me right. That's why I'm crying. They not the one you gotta worry about. The one you gotta worry about is the devil. The devil showed you easy to cry. The devil showed you easy to break down. That's why he gonna come back and live in your mind now. He showed you weak, baby. That's why the Bible said, "Tumble yourself, act like a man, show yourself strong. Do you see what I'm talking about? This is why we need to strengthen ourselves. You know why so many Christians are weak? They not allowing the word of God to live in their life. The word of God is selfish strength. When the word of God live in you, that's strength, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Many Christians are weak because they're hanging around other weak peoples. Uh -huh. They're hanging around other folk that gossiping. If you hanging around other folk that gossiping, baby, you are hanging around other folk that are weak. That's why you are weak. The said how can two walk together except they agree baby that's what the word said many Christians are weak because they're hanging around other people just like them complaining gossiping and they jealous of the same folk you jealous of that gossip and complain cannot encourage you they got the same devil in them that the same devil that's in you Jesus said how can the devil cast out the devil how can Satan cast out Satan if look if the one you hanging around that's complaining fanning folk jealous of the same people you jealous of how can the devil in them cast out the devil in you and how can the devil in you cast out the devil in them when both of y'all's the devil that's why you weak baby do you see what i'm talking about amen people that gossip and complain cannot encourage you, nor could they build you up. You know why? They beat down themselves. They got the same spirit you got. They got the same, look, they complaining the same way you complaining. They jealous of the same folk you jealous with. So you could tell, baby, that not only you beat down, the one you around beat down. Because if they were strong, that you was around, they would tell you, baby, we don't do that. Look, uh, let's love them. Put your faith in God. They can't do that because they be down too. You see what I'm talking about? Many Christians are weak, number three, because they're not studying the Bible the way that they should. They read in the Bible, yes, but they're not studying the Bible. When you study the Bible, let me tell you what you got to do in order to get strong. You got to pull out the spirit that's in the Bible. The Bible said, whatever the spirit have to say to the church is spirit in hell. You got to pull out. You see what I'm talking about? You look, I understand you reading this Bible, but this Bible have the Spirit of God in it. You got to pull the Spirit of God out of this Bible into you in order for you to be strong. You see that? Take it down. 
This is why, baby. You get a lot of folk read this Bible every day. Still weep. You get a lot of folk read this Bible every day. They read the Bible every day and cry every day. They read and cry. That's unbalanced weight there, baby. That's unbalanced, baby. You see what I'm talking about? They read this Bible every day and still gossip every day. They read this Bible every day and if you speak to them, they're going to cry. You see what I'm talking about? Here's the problem, baby. They're not pulling no spirit out of this Bible. The spirit of God that come from the word of God covers you up. Don't you know that? The spirit of God that you pulls out of the word of God makes you the strong man, baby. It makes you the head, not the tail. It makes you above, not beneath, baby. That's what I'm talking about. The word made me strong. That's what I'm saying, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Look how tough Peter was, baby. Peter started accepting the word of God. They told him not to preach no more. Peter covered up himself and said, who must we obey man of God? You see what I'm talking about? He didn't fall under the power of man. And got out of jail and went right back out there and preached. You see what I'm talking about? When you are strong, baby, can't nobody stop you. When you are strong, can't nobody ban you. Because guess what, baby? It's not just you they got to deal with. They got to deal with God that's with you. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. Of oh, the Spirit of God. A man that's in his word is what's strictness in us. You got a lot of folk reading the Bible still weak. It's not reading the Bible make you strong. It's you receiving the spirit from the Bible that make you strong. That's why the Bible kept telling the church, whatever the spirit, spirit, read, underline that word spirit. Whatever the spirit says unto the church. It said, hear that. And what did Jesus say? He said, my word, they are what spirit and life. That's what the word said, baby. Studying the Bible gives you faith. And faith gives you the strength. Let me tell you what faith does, baby. Faith is what encourages you. You know why many Christians cast down? They have no faith. Why I thy cast down, oh my soul, hope thy in God. You see what I'm talking about? Let me tell you what else faith does, baby. Faith uplifts you. Don't you know that? Even when you're going through, even when the odds of life is against you, faith keeps you uplifted, baby. Faith keeps you encouraged, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Faith gives you a high self-esteem of yourself. You see what I'm talking about? Because if you got faith, amen, you know everything is going to be all right. You know everything working in your favor. You know everything worked good for them that love God. When you got faith, you got a high self-esteem for yourself, baby. When you got faith, baby, you strong, baby. Can't nobody beat faith. Can't nobody tear faith down. Can't nobody ban faith. But faith can ban. No, you see what I'm talking about. All right, as I close it up, you got many people, many Christians are weak. You know why? They're not praying in the spirit. There go that word spirit again. When you pray, you got to do more than talk to God. You got to connect your spirit with God. You see what I'm talking about? Your spirit got to get connected with God. When your spirit get connected with God, that will strip and show inner man. That will build you up, baby. That will encourage you. Notice how before Jesus Christ prayed in the garden of Gethsemane. He said, Father, let this cup pass from me. The Bible said he went back and prayed the second time. When he came out, he told his apostle, let us be going now. See how the edified he got? He prayed and got strong 
stronger, baby. Get uplifted, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You got a lot of folk praying, but they're not praying in the spirit. Paul said, I will pray in the spirit. I will sing in the spirit, baby. You see what I'm talking about? There's a difference between praying and praying in the spirit. When you pray in the spirit, you connect it with God. All right, God bless them. I'm Prophet Willie Townsend. The pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12:30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call. And we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charges. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to check our website. All of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes, you can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, I would tell us every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. You can get that live also by going to our website at 2 o'clock p.m. on Sunday. Also, don't forget our weekly telecast every Friday in Detroit, Michigan, 7 a.m. Detroit time on TV station WPXD TV channel 31. Yes. Until next week, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless you. Pass not, O oh, Jen.